Hello and welcome to Blue Brick Furry Free. Today I'll be reviewing the new Lego Ninjago City Guard. Now this has 5,685 pieces, is geared for ages 14 and up, and retails for $300 in the US. Now, at the time of recording this video, this is actually the biggest Lego Ninjago set. This can be put together with Ninjago City and Ninjago City Docks. I'll make a video showing it with Ninjago City and a comparison. And it actually also has an island that you can put across it and connect it with the holes. And it came out to celebrate the 10 years of Ninjago, and this one has the golden Sensei Wu, and we'll take a look at that and all the other figures after we look at the set. So now, let's first take a look at the eyelid that you have. So all you do is just take it off with the Technic pins like that, and it can be placed on the other side of this, but it does not look as good. I uh, just with the pillar, I don't really know why, but it just, it doesn't look the same, but I mean like that. So now you just take it off and uh, the island has some nice textures right here with the green layered on, uh, like a hill. There's some bridges here. Now they are pretty loose and they're connected by like the circles inside those bricks. Then there's some lily pads and stuff in the water and the green and like black different things to make it look like water in a more realistic way. Now there's like a temple right here using some megaphones and those are gold minifigure heads at the bottom. And then here's the Zayn Memorial. Uh, now the Zane figure, it's all gray, but there's hints of silver, like right here. And it's just a plain figure, of course. You can angle him whatever way you want. And there's some rocks over here. So that's pretty much all the island. And now let's take a look at this. So let's go from the top to the bottom. So the first thing is you can just take off this tower. Now, it's not connected by studs. It just pops off. So if you're carrying it with that, you probably want to take it off before carrying it down. It has the teal and the transparent pink, and it looks really good together. And then this is like an awning over that. Then you can just take this off, and inside is not a J, but... It comes with a regular J minifigure, and this is just his ninja costume, so you can swap him out if you want him to be in his ninja form. Then there's actually a little, on the back, a uh, sign right here showing like a movie poster or something like that, and like all the other ones. In here, there's two extras, so these are there too, and we'll take a closer look at that one when we get to that and you just slide them in right here and then this section up here uh you can just take uh you might want to fold these up to get a better grip but you take this off and inside there's just like a computer or something uh, showing like a map and just put this on fold down these and then you can attach these there and now let's take a look at the last section. So right here it actually has a ladder that you just turn the gear to access this room. And right here is where you show the poster. And if you want to swap them, you just lift that up and take it out like that. So now this, they'll do right here. Uh, is an RK room for the ninjas. Now, each of the Ninjago cities has a, like, a big balloon. I'm not really sure what to call it, thing, but this one is quite, and it looks really good using Yoshi's or just Mario legs, quills, and leaves there. 
There's a telescope, and that is a steak piece. And these are Brickhead's glasses right here. Then inside, there's a rack uh, for like hats and stuff. There's a chair. Uh, there's a picture of all the ninjas with Sensei Wu. Here's a TV, and they're playing Prime Emperor, which is kind of funny. Um, and then you can take this arcade out. And this arcade actually works. It's pretty cool. So it shows that the enemy is at half health. I'm not sure who this is supposed to be. Because it could be Kai, but probably not. And then how to work it is you just go on that like a normal arcade. And it pushes it up, showing like fireballs at it. So that's really cool. The system is you just push down this, which has a thick thing. Uh, push up the tiles here, making that go up. And it's just a touch to the wall. And there's not really anything else in this room. And then uh, the other thing here is this. You can just take it off. Whoops. Fix that after I show this. There's actually a transparent clear piece right here to make like a flying bike. So you can put one of the villains, uh, like her, uh, right here, and they could just fly away stealing something. And now this can be took off so you can put it anywhere with open studs. Now there's just like a little table right there. And you can fold up these chest pieces of the top to reveal an orange helmet, and I have no clue what that's supposed to be. It's just two roller skates stacked on top of each other. And right over here is a little safe that you can open, and it has just like a teal cheese wedge in it. And I'm not sure why they didn't finish uh, like the uh, slopes right here on that side. It just ends abruptly, and in my opinion, it looks pretty weird. Um, but that's pretty much all of this, and there's just a random flower right there. Then there is the roof for uh, the museum that goes right over here, um, but we can show that later. Now, you can take this off, and this hangs above the museum. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Probably isn't the Skull Sorcerer's Dragon, but that's the only thing I could think of uh, right here. And it just hangs above the museum like that. Um, and then it just goes on top there and stuff. Then the floor right here just can pop off like that. The museum is actually the biggest room in uh, the set. So let's just push those to the side. It has two things. Most of it's a museum. All the yellow building is a museum. Those are the tiny green apartment. Now, you might have saw this, but the edges where you could connect other sets are rounded off with these balconies and stuff. Well, for this one, to get it off so you can connect it to other things, you just snap it off. Uh, it has Technic pins, and you just take it off uh, with the right here, and you just put it to the side if you want to connect it with something. If you don't have any other sets that like, can connect with this, or you just don't want to connect it, you just have it on so it looks a lot better. And it is pretty loose though. And connect it on just on the tuck pins in the green house section right there. And so I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Now how to access the green like apartment place is you just take off the front side like that and now after you do that some of the green pieces can just fall off um but you can just put those back on and now on this side 
There's a flower basket with a window right here using poppies from Troll's skirt, some flowers. Then there's a little light here just to light up the room. Then uh, right here, there is a bed. Uh, there is, and in this place, there's a TV with gal gossip on it. And a little umbrella holder in it. A square pineapple on the other side there. Just to touch it the same way. And then what's really cool is because the person who lives in here is an artist, uh, the painted, just have to put this back on, uh, the painted a picture of Ninjago City Gardens. It looks pretty cool. Now it is a sticker, but not a print. Most Almost everything in here is a sticker. But there it is with the paintbrush having it in orange. That's the paint. And it looks really good like that there. You can just take that out whenever you want. Now, this building is really hard to access. Uh, definitely one of the smallest buildings, of course, because the museum is so big. There's almost no space for this one. And it has a skeleton leg as the connection for the, the place where you paint. Um, so it does fall off quite a bit and it's pretty hard to put back in. And I do find just like ev mostly everything in here is definitely on a, a stable lot. Of the green building definitely could be worked on a little more, but it's good for what uh, it gives. Now, on the back, there's some flower baskets, telescope, black handcuffs for the railing, and then right here, there's actually a painting. Oops. Uh, for like the amusement park, and can't really show that, be but you can take it off. Look tight. Ah, uh, and this is what it looks like. But it reveals a hole into the museum. So you can get a minifigure, do the mechanic, and you can just have them push in, and it knocks the other portrait on the in the museum uh, uh, out. And we'll take a look at that one in a little bit for them to come in and steal. So that's nice for little play feature. So now let's take a little look at the museum. Now right here there's like a sign using some swords and shurikens. Not sure what it says, but there is a dragon there. Only on one side though. Now to access the inside of the museum, you can just pop off this whole wall piece. There is a roller coaster with some red phones there. You just pop it off. There is some stuff on the back that goes in the museum. Uh, so let's take a look at that. And now you can easily access the museum. So right here, there's just some pictures of Kai and Nia's parents there. Uh, Sensei Wu over, I forget uh, what this would be. Then there's just some spotlights and stuff. Then here's the Destiny's Bounty in micro scale. It looks pretty good in the scale. There's some video cameras right here using ray guns. Here's the staff. And then this is the other picture on the wall that you just pop out when you're going to try to steal from the museum. Let's take a look at that. You can just take it off. 
and uh, this is just what it looks like with the uh, orange and the yellow in the background. It looks pretty good. Uh, you just put that back on. Then uh, on the side, I can't really show it. There's like a mi uh, micro figure for Kai and a compass. Now, there's some of the, the ninjas throughout the, the set in micro figures. That's pretty cool. There is like an old Ninjago set in the gift shop part using a sausage for the bridge. Now, you can't access this as good as the museum, uh, but you still can access it. There is a little place for postcards using a Minecraft uh, piece and some other dots, pieces like the rainbow and the unicorn uh, there. Postcards. Then there's just the cash register. Only using two pieces like that. And just some like pictures. And there's the blue or gem inside. So that's it for the museum. Let's just put this back on and you slide it through the cracks there. So now let's take a look at these uh, buildings right here. Now, one of my favorite places in the set is definitely Chen's Noodle House. It has one of the best connections, so it's pretty hard to take off. Now it has a little bench right here that goes right there and a sign, an air vent, a little pipe with using a cup, picture of Chen. And now it actually uses a minifigure of Chen right there. And I just love the headpiece with the iconic wink and mustache. Then there's some of the bowls right here. This is him. And his legs are actually backwards, so you can fit him in on the sign just uh, to look exactly like the building from the show. Now there's some black sausages right here, and the pillars are just using tiles there. Now on the back, there's just some flowers and an awning, and how to access this, you can just hinge out the back wall right here. Uh, here's some signs of like what they can make, uh, like a stove up uh, over here is the seating picture. This could be the micro figure of Jay there. And then there's some soy sauce, a bowl on the table, and then just clips on. There is a light over there too. Then right here is another thing that you can take off. Well, first you do have to take off the jumper stud with the garbage. And then it lets you be able to take off this section. Now, uh, to be able to put the other sets connected to it. Now, this has two signs right here, or advertisements. And these are connected sideways. They're a pretty poor connection where they're really easy to take off on like these signs over there. And I have no clue what the are advertising. Um, and you just connect it back here. Then some more just signs here. And there's actually a sign for the crab restaurant from Ninjago City. Then just the main section. It almost looks like Samurai X, like the top. And then right here is the top of the tree. It's definitely a lot more fuller than the bottom, and it says 10 Ninjago years, so that's pretty cool. And then there's just some more signs. The here is using some snowflakes and a glue, whatever would not be crown pieces. Uh, and then this is the ice cream parlor, using some knives for the roof. Then the sign, Penguin as their mascot, an ice cream cone that fell. And it uses a heart piece in pink to look like strawberry ice cream. And it's all splattered on the ground. Just a little vent or for air conditioning. Some video game controllers to make the roof right here. So that's pretty cool. And sadly, you this is like the only building that you cannot access. There's also a hammer here for the railing to go up the stairs to the museum. And you just open the door like that.
It's very hard to access. Uh, there's like a perfect way. It clips on perfectly there. It's just when you try to take it out, it just hits that. Put in the comments if you found a way to actually find the inside or be able to pull something out to access the inside. Now, here's just a sign with like popsicles and ice cream and stuff and how much they are. Then for the ice cream, they actually used dog poop in white. So that's pretty funny. And there's just some other things like the scoops that you use for ice cream and stuff like that. And right here, there's nothing when you take it off, like to see inside. But on the other side, on this, there's actually uh, one of like Jay's vehicles using hammer pieces that hangs above in the Ninjago fan apartment. And you just take it off or. Just putting this back on, uh, it just hangs above there. Now you can take this whole section off and it just falls down uh, like that. So you can still put it down. Now right here, there is the amazing water texture. It's funny that there's like a pink frog, uh, it's like the bonsai tree uh, there. There's a bunch of like blades or weapons and stuff for some grasses on the tree right here with some like vines around it. There's almost no leaves though on it. So I definitely like the top version better. Then there's the bird on the nest. The back of it has like an opening spot. You can like wheel a boat from New York City or something right here. Then there's a little island with a tree using wolverine claws. There's a rock using a hat. And then there's just a cool uh, bush right here. And the lanterns on this right here where the Technic pins are to connect the other fix. Now there is a ladder right up there to go on. And the soy sauce at the table and the place where you go to like order your food using a book piece. So that's pretty cool. And we'll look at that in a little bit more in detail and one of the coolest parts of the bottom level right here is that there's actually a pipe using a superhero blast piece looking like water is flowing at and we'll look at that when these buildings are off so the first uh thing we're going to look at the bottom floor is the ninjago fans apartment now you can just take the wall off like that to access the inside. There's a bed uh, with Cole and Kai blanket with the ninjas on it. Then there's actually a dagger inside. Now on top right here is some Lego Ninjago season 14 uh, sets, the Cadillacs or boats. And I think this one's the Keeper Village probably. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. This could be like a dragon. And this is probably like Kai's X1 Charger or Fighter, whatever that is. There's a poster uh, for Ninjago City or like Visit Ninjago City and a micro figure for Zane. Then just the flowers at the back. And I really like uh, this window there with the awning above. And yeah, you can just put these uh, this back on by the hinges, the wall. Now, it is a little harder to put it back on than the other ones that just like clip off. There's a sign to say Ninja Go. Now, right here, there is a building where you can like, order food, a little restaurant. There's a bowl, a little pan stuff, like showing what you can order. And then right here, it uses a book, upside down brown book there. and of the back of one and then the front of them right here as the awning. And there's a little door to the balcony and a door inside the restaurant there. Then this can come off to see the inside. There's just a sink and some shelves. And that's really all that's in this building. Definitely on the tinier side.
and underneath there's like a pipe that leads into the pipe right there. Then there is a bench under the tree there. And uh, over here, there's the pillar. You see some cool pieces in there, like the zip lines and the phones. Then this building right here is the apartment, uh, probably for Ronan. There's a pipe right here using a syringe and paint rollers and the awning. Inside, there's uh, four pictures, uh, almost for like the four seasons. Then there's like a hole right here for the ladder and Ronan's shop. And then there's just some teapots and tea things and a door to that. That's really not all that's in this uh, building. And the last building is Ronan's shop, of course. Now, inside, you can just... Oh, I did forget to say that you can take off uh, this wall, too, to access more of it. But you don't really have to access anything here because there's nothing to ask it, access over there. Uh, but Ronan's shop has some cool things. So there's a little awning over here. And then you just take off this right there. Here is the ladder. And there's some gold party hats right here with the lights inside there's a gold scale some ninjago trading cards uh here's one of them you just clip onto the back there and then they just clip on right there and then you can see the purple car uh, clips right there now there's a map of the Dark Island, I think. A door to access the inside with a flower there. And a trap door that leads into a secret place right here. It has a basket with... I have no clue what's inside. And I have no clue who that is. There's some gold bars. A gold micro figure and some green daggers. And some stairs down into. And then what I was mentioning over here was the pipe. It looks really good. And now we can take a look at the minifigures. So the first one, of course, is the Golden Sensei Wu. Now, unlike all the other ninjas, he actually has a gold face, too. Whoops. There's some gold studs on his little stand. Uh, sh showing that he is Sensei Wu. The plaque that says 10 Ninjago years. And he looks really good with just even a gold beard. And his like stick. And the back printing. And of course it doesn't have an alternate face. Because it has the uh, hat. Now the... Uh, next one is Urban J. He has some flowers for Nia. He has messy hair. And this is his alternate face. And his regular face. Here's just a person with like a phone and a briefcase. Uh, now there's nothing inside of this. He has a tie, too. This is his regular face. And his alternate face is a little more angry. Here is Rodan. He looks really good. Uh, now, he doesn't have an alternate face, sadly. Uh, but he has an orange arm right here. And then the green or the sand green. He looks pretty good. Here's one of the shop workers. She has purple hair. She has her alternate face is like screaming. She's like scared. And uh, she probably works at this restaurant right here. Here is one of the thieves. Uh, she probably works for the mechanic. Uh, she has a uh, diamond right here and she has this cool hat and hair combo 
This is her regular face and her alternate face. Here is the mechanic. He looks pretty good with the hat, so no alternate face, sadly. And he's just a big, like, weapon right here. Here is the Ninjago fan with the Lloyd shirt that looks pretty cool. And it shows Lloyd on the other side. With the white hair, or blonde hair, and alternate face is winking. And this is our regular face. <laughs> Smiling. Here is Misako. Uh, now she just has like a shirt, a plain one, mostly. Her gray hair, this is her alternate face, and this is her regular face. Here is the person who runs the ice cream shop. He has an ice cream cone, a scooper for the ice cream, a hat, so no alternate face, and this is his regular face. He looks pretty good, uh, like the planet ice cream up there. Here is a just a kid. Uh, you can just place him wherever. He has, uh, like, a CD, uh, over there, and then his blue hat. This is his regular face, and he does not have an alternate face. Here is Zane in his, uh, ninja costume. He has a sword on the back that you can take out and have him hold, of course, and just put it back in like that. Uh... He has his regular face right there, and then he doesn't have an alternate face, but has just, like, robot stuff on the back, because he's a robot. Uh, here is Nia. Uh, she's just in her regular outfit. Love the hair. This is her regular face. And this is her alternate face. And here, I think, is whoops, a clutch powers. He has the, uh, the bag. And this is his regular face with the eye patch. And his alternate face with the eye patch up. Here is a dog. Uh, just like that. Then here is Kai in his ninja suit. This is his regular face and some more angry alternate face. He also has the solard that you can just take out and have him hold. And goes on the back of him with that. Here's a person just with like a pretzel uh, and she could be the artist. This is her regular face and she does not have an alternate face. Here is just like a robot that cleans up some stuff. He uses like a baby carriage right there in a little cap with some binoculars too. This is him. Then here is little Lloyd. Uh, this is his just like scared face and uh, his more determined face. It is so. Then the last figure is the regular Cole with a game controller. And he just is holding that. And then the guitar on his shirt. This is his regular face. And his alternate face is a bit grumpy. Uh, so that was everything in this awesome set. I hope you enjoyed this video. And subscribe for more videos with this set. And bye!